most people don't know how tough she really had it. Yeah, you know, Kevin, she is my girl crush. She's amazing to me. I think she's an inspiration. She's a huge star, helms her own series, How to Get Away with Murder. She's got Oscar nominations, Tony wins. But when she was young, she was penniless and she was starving. And Viola told me how her past is motivating her to help others today. One in every five children struggle with hunger in this country. It adds an incredible amount of shame and stigma to one's life. And I know that because I was one of those hungry kids. I remember in the, in the speech you said, I grew up with shame. I did everything to get food. I've stolen for food. I've jumped in huge garbage bins with maggots for food. It's heartbreaking, but it's reality. It is reality because what it what it taps into with you is uh, is desperation. But how do you fight the shame and the stigma? How I solved it is by my dreams had to be bigger than my circumstances. So I had to, had to have a passion for something, a passion that was so big that I couldn't see, you know, the rats running around my house. That's when I saw the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman with Cicely Tyson. I ain't getting on no horse, nothing. So in the midst of all of that poverty, a dream was born. The Oscar nominee is now inspiring the next generation with the roles she chooses, like Annalise Keating and How to Get Away with Murder. I think that there's so many young women of color looking out there who want a physical manifestation of their dreams. Mm. It's one of the reasons why I took my wig off. I wanted to step into what a woman really is in her private life. I wanted to take my makeup off. I wanted to be messy. But Viola's latest role is fast becoming one of her most important. Hunger is everyone's problem. For the second year, she's working to end childhood hunger in the Hunger Is campaign, sponsored by the Entertainment Industry Foundation and the Safeway Foundation. I think the reason why I partnered with them is because I like the word eradicate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do. I do too. And it's, it's my way of healing that little child that always follows me with the little ponytail that was diving through dumpsters. It's my way of maybe hushing her a little bit, um, putting a little smile on her face. And um, I think it's the least I could do as I'm walking down the red carpet. I can't tell you how much respect mm. I have yes. for that lady. Yes. You know, sitting and talking to Viola and hearing her story, it touched me. I don't know how it wouldn't touch anybody. I, I just respect the fact that she got past that shame that she was feeling and decided to speak out and try and prevent another little girl or little boy from simply being hungry. She is a leader, a true yes, leader. She is. Yes, I, she I is. love her.